Hello and welcome to the last De Havilland COVID roundup of the week. I'm John McStravick, head of the content team. Today, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. We will find out if the government's target of 100,000 daily tests by the end of April will have been met. Uh, expect there to be questions taken on that in the afternoon press conference later on today. Also happening today is uh, the Royal College of GPs, the Royal College of Midwives, and two representatives from NHS England talking for the Committee on Health and Social Care. I'm sure they'll be answering questions on test as well, as well as all manner of other things. Sticking with the NHS for a moment, they've published their plans on how to get non-COVID-19 related clinical services back on track over the next six weeks. And finally, finally, if it's good enough for the news, it's good enough for us here at de Havilland, we'll finish with the sport. DCMS has given a £16 million cash grant to the Rugby Football Union. Um, they will be speaking along with representatives from other sporting bodies um, to the relevant committee later on next week.